I got going to load my icing bag, my piping bag up for a project, the Mummy project. And I just wanted to show you kind of how I did it. We bought this um, this Wilton kit at, I believe we bought it at Walmart ages ago, I think. And we're, I think I'm down to like my last four or five bags. So we're going to have to buy some more bags. But this one came with um, the couplers, these, these plastic couplers. Um, it came with uh, five different tips, and I'm going to try this one out because I need fairly flat lines for the mummy. Um, the only other flat one they have is a little wider than this, and I may have to switch over to that one. We'll have to see when I'll try it out first. Um, and then it came with the bags. How many bags? It came with 12 bags and a flower nail in there. It also has four colors of the gel in there. My only complaint is it came with yellow, green, and blue. But instead of red, it came with pink gel, and I wish it came with red gel so I can make oranges and stuff. And I very well could have used pink and yellow to make orange. I don't know. I didn't try it. Didn't want to take the chance on wasting the frosting and stuff. This is a side note. You don't have to use homemade frosting to make these. We buy just store-bought frosting, and I just take my spoon or knife or whatever I'm going to use to load this, and I just stir it up really good and, and get it mixed up really well and it thins it out enough to where you can put it right in your piping bag and it works fine. So here's what I do. This is the part that goes inside the bag. And then you're going to put, you're going to cut a hole in the tip of it and then you're going to put your tip on and then this over top of it. So this actually goes inside the bag. And following the directions took me forever to figure that part out for some reason. Um, so you slide this in your bag and you want the pointy side down and don't push too hard right at first just get it down to where it's it's kind of pushed hard but not really pushed hard right at the bottom of that you're going to cut it with a pair of scissors just like that now i'm going to take my hand and I'll tell you what i can't fit my hand in there. i'm just going to push that that last little bit to where the plastic is pretty much even with the tip so you can see the couplers inside I really shoved in there good then you lay your tip on top of that, and then you put this coupler right on around that, and you just um, screw it in. Be careful not to cross thread it to where it's crooked. Make sure it's, it shouldn't be hard to screw on at all. And make sure you screw it on all the way to where it's, it's not super tight, but tight. Because if you don't, while you're piping and you're putting pressure behind it, your tip will go pop and pop right off. You don't want that. Uh, also, don't cut the whole Make sure you push the coupler, the inside part of the coupler, down to where it pretty much stops before you cut the hole. Because if you cut it back too far, uh, there's not enough plastic to grab this. And when you're putting that pressure behind it to squeeze out your frosting, the whole thing will come out the end. Because I did that the first time I ever did it. I cut the hole too big. I didn't know to shove that kind of down in there. Um, you can see you probably have, what, an inch and a half maybe of the tip. But I always just slide that in just to make sure. Uh, because I never know that the bags are all made the exact same size. So um, now it's ready to, to light up with frosting. I'll fold this over and, um, and when I get ready to light my frosting up, I'll just uh, take a spoon and scoop it right in there and it'll be ready. Okay, now this is the parts we're going to use for our mummy. We've got these Cadbury finger cookies that we're going to try out. Um, normally we use pretzel rods and dip them in chocolate and uh, put those in. You know, you only do like this much of the pretzel rod and chocolate and the rest of it is just pretzel rod. And um, then you put the frosting on top and we make them out of pretzel rods. What we found was you waste a lot of the pretzel. You know, there's a lot of pretzel there. So we thought, you know what, these are chocolate already. They're chocolate covered cookies. Um, they're about, we're assuming they're about this big. We actually haven't opened the package so it'll be a surprise. Uh, but you'll need these. We're going to try these out. I think these would be really good. Um, some white frosting, any brand of white frosting. If you want to make it yourself, that's fine too. And a little pack of mini M&Ms. And you don't need any more than a tube to make these. You don't need to all buy a whole bag of it. Just a tube is fine. Um, I've got my piping bag here, and I've got my knife to stir it with and my spoon to load my piping bag up. So just out of curiosity, I want to see what these cookies look like really quick. Oh, I think those would be perfect. I think those would be a really good size because I can still make half the, the cookie mummy and just leave a little bit on the bottom. So I think those will work out really good. I'm going to go ahead and open them. I like to smell stuff. I'm sorry. Um, it has a dark chocolate smell to it, just so you know. 
Okay. So I'm going to load my piping bag up first, and I'm only going to use about half of this. Um, I don't think I'll need the whole thing for this, but I'm going to I'm just going to use half of it right now. I'm hoping I can use the other half for another idea we're, we're working on. But take a butter knife and just kind of stir it up a little bit. Um, it settles and it gets kind of stiff as it sits on the shelf. But if you stir it up, um, I can feel a difference in while I'm stirring it up that it's smoothing out a little bit and softening up some. Um, yeah, big difference between when I first started. And that's all I really needed the knife for. Um, just because it's hard to get a spoon in there to do that. So, what I want to do now is, uh, if you take your piping bag and fold it down about, I don't know, it's not quite half, but just a little less than half, and kind of hold your hand um, kind of underneath the collar to where you kind of get an opening like this. And I've just got a, a like a bigger tablespoon. And I'm just going to take spoonfuls of frosting, and I usually like to stick it down in there and use my thumb to rake the spoon clean. And do that for about half of your frosting. Stick it down in there, rake it clean, and that way you're not getting a ton of it up on the top parts. And let me get one more good size. No, probably do one more than that. One good thing about doing the white first, if you want to dye your frosting later, anything I don't use in this piping bag, I can just squirt out and uh, and reuse. It's not like I'm I'm stuck. If you dyed it first, then you're stuck with that color, and you really can't do anything about it, you know, you can't undye it. So always do your light color, your white frostings first and then um, you'll be in good shape. So now fold it back and you notice we still have an air gap down here, so that's good. And this is the interesting part. Take, and, take it in your hand and kind of hold it and bunch it up and you're going to twist it right at the top of where the frosting's at. And twist it pretty good to where it's not going to come loose. Now take your thumb and your right here in the web of your thumb and your hand and hold where that twist is at. And then I'm going to squeeze the bag a little bit and you'll start to see frosting come out the end. And I'm loosening up in here so now I can give it another twist and get it good and tight. And I usually like to, I can squirt it out on my spoon or whatever, but squirt out a little bit first because you may uh, get air bubbles, so you don't want air in there, so that's what I'm going to look like. So now I'm going to actually take these, and I don't know what this tip is going to look like for the mummies. This is actually a leaf tip. I wanted something kind of flat. Um, I have one that's wider, like I said when I was talking about the how to load this up. I have one that's wider than this, and um, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it works out. You know, they're, they're supposed to be fun and playful mummies. You know, they don't have to be exact. So I'm going to take it from one side, and just start piping it across the other side. Well, that actually doesn't look too bad. And you kind of do random like angles. Kind of like creating a bunch of bandanas around it. And if you leave a little chocolate through there, that's fine. And I just found out that it melts really easily on your finger. And I actually think that looks pretty good. Um, I need to get a bowl or a cup or something. And if you get a cup, sorry I didn't think about that later, but uh, if you stick your piping bag inside of it, it'll kind of uh, hold it upright for you so you can then do other things. So I've got my mummy kind of laid out. He's got like this little mummy body. And you get two little mini M&Ms, and I like to get different colors because it makes them look kind of wacky. And just stick them right there on the sides of them. And there he is. And now you let them sit and the white frosting will get a little firm, it'll get a little crust on it, and then you'll be able to pick them up. I actually may finish making these and probably stick them in the refrigerator for a little while because the part, this, this is just wax paper. Um, I can pick this wax paper up and just slide it right onto a cookie sheet, slide it right in my refrigerator and it'll firm up everything to where, and the chocolate, I may actually stick this chocolate in the refrigerator before I finish the rest of them. Okay, I got Tammy to do one, and I actually like her method better. She just goes back and forth, and you can see her, her other ones, the difference between hers and mine. And her method's a lot quicker than mine, that's for sure. 
I do like the leaf tip for this one though. I think the leaf tip worked out really good. And you can see the difference between hers and mine. Mine is this one um, right here and mine's kind of thin. It kind of looks like a deranged um, something. Looks like he's got crazy beard hair. And these are the ones she did and they, they look a lot, I think hers look a lot better than mine. But we'll definitely have to stick these in the refrigerator to uh, firm up the frosting and, and the chocolate because the chocolate's a little soft. Um, could be because we're right next to the stove um, that was on, but um, I don't know. I think it's just gonna, we'll just have to see how they work out. All right, I'm done with the piping thing. And so what I can do with my extra, um, I just didn't use all this. So what I can do is, um, you can squirt it out in there. You notice I'm squeezing with this hand. And then when it gets kind of low, just uh, maybe like this. And squeeze it back in there. And keep twisting as you go. Now this won't get it all out but it'll get a lot of it. Take your finger and kind of push down there. That'll get the last bit you can possibly get out of there. Now to take it apart, unscrew this part right here, and that metal part will fall out too, so be careful. Don't take it completely off. Once it's loose and sliding, take, your, take the top part off, and you'll see it's in that ring. What I use it is put this in a cup of very hot water um, because there's frosting all in there. This is the messy part because that plastic thing's inside there. Um, I have cut the plastic off before. Um, sometimes that's easier, or if you just kind of take your fingernail and kind of push it down in there. There you go. And soak that with the rest of it, and then it's ready to, ready to, to wash. Okay, I'm used to eating the mummies as pretzels, so I think I'll eat this one that Kevin made. Oh, that's really, really good. Um, I mean, it's different, you know, one's a pretzel. You don't get that salty that you would with the pretzel, but... Kids would probably like this a lot better. I like this better than I do the pretzels, actually. Pretzels, I've noticed with the pretzel rods, when you bite into them, they're so crispy that pieces kind of fly out of your mouth all over the place, and they're kind of messy. Whereas this isn't messy at all. This is very, very good. I would do this again, the Cadbury cookies.